Hello, Pisces. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in here, Pisces. This is your reading for the week of February 20, 25th through March 2nd. Let's explore the wisdom of the tarot. I, I do intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the deck. Let's see what we have. For our beautiful Pisces for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. That one wanted to jump out. So we're going to go ahead and let that one be. How are you, my Pisces? I hope all is well for you. And you gain some usefulness from my intuitive reading on today. All right. Let's see what we have. Five of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Five of Cups. Let's see what we have. The Star, the Hangman, and the King of Pentacles for Pisces. Wow. This is this is amazing already. Okay. Pisces, you are hoping, you're looking for a renewal, Pisces. Wishing on a star for some sort of renewal, a reset, perhaps. And with the hangman, with this renewal coming up for the star, with the hangman, you're going to have to get a new perspective on your situation a new perspective on life to have that new beginning that you are hoping for. And then we have the King of Pentacles rounding out this reading. Success. Of course, financial success, financial stability. So you're looking, Pisces, you're looking for a renewal in your financial situation. And we know that in the society we live in today, finances are a big deal. They are a must. So you're looking for that renewal. You're going to need a new perspective in order to get to that financial success that you are hoping and praying for but let us be reminded by this five of cups this is this is your shadow card it ended up on the bottom of the deck and your shadow card is your hopes and dreams so with this there's some conflict there's some instability you're dealing with right now an unstable you're at an unstable place in your life and it's it's causing you growing pains. It's causing conflict, uh, mental and emotional anguish at this point. But it's not to say we can't turn things around. You're wishing on a star. We can turn things around. You're looking for that renewal. You need to get a new perspective. Shift your mindset so that you are able to achieve that financial stability that you are looking for what else do we have divine spirit eight of pentacles yes very good there's action you need to take to master your finances there's action you should be you should be making yourself a plan a realistic plan to achieve the financial stability 
and financial success that you are in search of but it, it does it won't just fall in your lap you have to take action you have to take accountability for your hopes and desires right the strength card this is beautiful you have the ability you have the fortitude to take action you have what it takes already within you to overcome your current situation and improve your financial situation to get to where you desire to be the hermit this you have plenty of major arcana in your reading Major Arcana, major changes. So the Hermit is one of the major Arcana. And with this card, you've been doing some soul searching. And now it's time to put that soul searching into action. Into action, your Eight of Pentacles. Hard work, determination, mastering your financial plan and seeing it come to fruition, that is all within you. It's all within you. Change your mindset with this hangman, right? And you will become the king of your finances. You will become an authority over your finances. You will become accountable to your finances and responsible with your finances, right? Let's see. Anything else, Divine Spirit, that Pisces needs to know for the upcoming week, February 25th through March 2nd? Divine Spirit, anything else? Hmm. This deck doesn't want to cooperate. What are you trying to tell me, Divine Spirit? Anything else for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? This is all, this whole reading is a financial reading. Pisces, you, you are, this has been heavy on your heart for some time now. And this whole reading is, it's, I can feel it. It's all about finances. Divine Spirit, what does Pisces need to know? One more card, Divine Spirit. King of Wands. All right. This is a beautiful card. This is the Illuminati Tarot deck. Beautiful imagery. The King of Wands for Pisces. Yes. You have vision. You have the vision of what you want your finances to be. Write it down, make it plain. You have the vision, write it down and make it plain. The King of Wands is super creative. The King of Wands is a leadership of creation and vision, passion and energy. And where it's concerning this, the finances, you're well on your way. Write the vision, make it plain concerning your finances, Pisces. All right. Let's pull. Let's pull an oracle card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle. What is the overall theme here for Pisces, Divine Spirit? Overall theme, give me one oracle card for Pisces, if you will. Our beautiful Pisces. What do they need to know? In the hand, the universe is your partner. And this is card oracle card number 31 from the shaman's dream oracle and if we put three and one together we get four and this is four symbolizes stability and manifestations and foundations 
Okay, so this is beautiful. In the hand, the universe is your partner. The universe conspires to see you win, Pisces. Let the universe know your desires. Shift your mindset and believe it already that it's already yours. It's already yours. Last card for Pisces. I'm going to pull one card from the Spherical Animal Oracle for Pisces. What do we have here, Divine Spirit? One card, the Spirit Animal Oracle. Beautiful Pisces. What should you embody this week of February 25th through March 2nd? What is your animal spirit, Pisces? Divine Spirit, let us know. This card is sticking out. B Spirit, sweet results await. Do you see this? Sweet results await, Pisces. This, this whole reading, I am excited for you. I am, my heart leaps for joy for you. And we have the seven on the B Spirit. Sweet results await for you. This is your chance to reflect on what things that challenged you, what didn't go so well in your finances. Give it a true, honest assessment. Reflect on those choices you made or the lack of a choice, which is also a choice. And get this financial situation under your control. King of Wands, King of pen, uh, Pentacles. That's leadership. That's authority. You have the power within the inner strength to see this through. Your financial stability will improve because sweet results await you. Pisces, I hope this has resonated with you and it carries you through the week, gives you some guidance on what to do next. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos I have for you. Until next time, bye-bye.